it's me and we're in Rosewood and today I'm doing something that I should have done a long time ago. First of all, it's Christmas Eve, so I'm wearing my awesome Christmas hat. Um, and uh, yeah, so we are doing the Barbie car collection updated edition for uh, this is going to be uploaded hopefully by Christmas. So Christmas 2014. First Here things we first, we're going to first do the 2002 Ford Escape, which um, looks dusty, but it's not. And um, this is an awesome car. I got it on eBay for a really good price. And it's got, um, you know, the GPS. It's got this awesome dashboard with the Ford horn. Um, it's got all these awesome, you know, seat belts and seats that actually do move. The back seat moves as well. But what's interesting, oh, wait, hang on. I also have to show you that this opens up like that the gas pump and also interesting is the trunk opens but what you don't know guys is that my friend and I we made whoops there's something in there um is that my friend and I made a back seat for the car out of a box that came with something else and Jenga blocks and hot glue and it's super awesome it's in a removable third row that actually goes in the back seat and um it's pretty awesome. It's really cool. You can go like that. You can put it in the middle. You can put it on this side. Um, you can just take it out all together. It's super cool. Um, and um, I'm just so in love with it. It's so awesome. So we made a back seat, and it's really awesome. A, th a third row. A back back. Yeah. In this in any particular order, either. I'm just grabbing cars that are near me. Um, but this is also the Oak minivan that I did a review on. Um uh oh, it looks like one of the windshield wipers finally broke off. There was a loose one, but I was being close with it. Careful with it, but apparently I wasn't being careful enough. Sorry, car. So yeah, it's really awesome. All if you guys know me, I like cars with one, doors and stuff that open in two back seats. So these doors open. These doors open. Both sliding doors open. I also love minivans and SUVs. So there you go. Those doors open. And then the trunk opens, which is pretty awesome. And if you take this car seat out, hang on, we're gonna take the car seat out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I've only other seen one other minivan like this, and I have and I seen it years ago, and I looked for years and years and years, and it literally was so long since I'd seen the first one that I thought I had imagined it, and then this one popped up. This seat also folds down so that it has a flat and open back seat to put a couch or something in. So yeah, it's an awesome car. I love it. Um, Ken's don't fit in here very well, but um, it's okay because I love it and um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. This Barbie beach buggy. I think it's a Cali Girls beach buggy. Whoops. The chairs also come out, as you can see. And it's pretty cool. There was a suitcase that had the same material on it. Um, they came with it, but we lost it. And that's what the inside looks like. It's pretty basic. So yeah. Up is this my scene car that is super duper cool and super duper awesome. It's got this Florida Lee decal on the front. Um, it says my M Y S C zero zero two one got little sun visors, a mirror, a fuzzy steering wheel, a little GPS that you can flip up and flip in there. Got two cup holders that actually hold cups. The seats are covered in like actual like seat covers with fabric. It's really cool. And it's got like a little chandelier looking thing on the back. And it again says MYSC0021. It's a really cute car. A little gas pump thing opens up and um it's a really nice little car rb fashionista i think 2012 um limousine or whatever it's got this awesome grill it's got the front seats he's sitting in there because he's supposed to be the chauffeur <laughs> um and then what happens is this opens this opens and then you push and then it opens into a limousine and this is kind of like a runway thing that you know you can kind of you know, walk up in and out, walk out of the car with and it also kind of transforms into a little makeup mirror and there's also a little tv on the back there 
Okay, it's really awesome. And um, it's a cool car. Yeah. It's actually a Barbie car, but I've always used it as one and um, stuff, so I'm going to include it anyway. This is a Tonka tow truck, basically. Um, it kind of is what it is. It's got the hook here with, like, a piece of string because the actual thing broke. Um, you can actually unwind it and all that stuff. Um, I don't know that I can put it back the way it was, so it's kind of just going to lay there. Um, I'd say, like, kids can actually fit in here. Like, the actual adults kind of can't fit in here. They kind of just, like, you know, um, sit there. But I kind of wanted it for Toby. And it's got these now. Oh. Okay, so it kind of works. There you go. There it goes. Goodbye. The car's going bye-bye. Um, the lights can either flash or not or whatever. And then that's the actual tow thing that does not work anymore. It did actually tow, though. So, yeah. <laughs> Do these buttons work? Oh. Okay, so these buttons make different sound effects. And, um, yeah, it's a really cool car. And I got it for Toby because, you know, he's, he's got a truck. He's a truck. Up dude. is the Barbie Microbus. And this is the pink one. I also have the blue one that I will show you later. Um, it's got a bunch of scratches and dings on it, and the stickers are all ripped because I've had this for years and years, and it's been played by so much. It's got the Volk Volkswagen sticker on the front. This mirror is broken, and the other one is out. The sliding door opens, and yes, there is a broken piece to it, but that's okay. The sliding door opens, and the seats all swivel and, you know, twirl around and stuff. It's got a little, um, like, little TV monitor thing on the back that also swivels. Little cup holders, but I also use this as a seventh seat because it's awesome for children and big families, which I love with my Barbies. And then when you go into the car, you see there is this steering wheel, which used to honk. This one's broken. The blue one still works. This thing is like a little, you know, gear. And then this is um, the GPS, and um, it's got stuff on it. And then it can also go up in here like that and go away and then it comes back. So yeah, this is one of my favorite cars of all time. My father had to fix um, the wheels on all, um, both cars because they just kept falling off. So he put these things on there in case we have to fix them. So yeah, now they don't fall off anymore. But they used to fall off. It was always this wheel too. And we always used to fall off and I'm playing with it. And I'm like, uh-oh. So then we always had to have the tow, the tow guy come and fix the car. So that was really funny. But um, it got annoying. Um, after a couple times, so then I was like, fix it, and then all the other wheels started falling off, so you get the point, <laughs> but I still love this car, it's so awesome, I'm in love with it, I still love it so much, it's definitely one of my top favorite cars um, of all times, so we've got this Beetle, that is also from Volkswagen, and it says Barbie on the front, it's got a bunch of flower stickers, and when you open it up, it's got um, the steering wheel, and the little typical, you know, rose flower in the car, and I think I can, you can, oh wait, no, you can't remove it. I thought you could for a second. Um, it's got a little teeny tiny back seat there. Both of the front doors do open. It's old Barbie. And then the back has a Volkswagen sign. There's this Barbie. And then this flips open and there used to be a key that you could turn and then the trunk would pop open. But you can still stick your fingernail underneath and get the trunk to open. So it's not a big deal. And you know. This is one of Arya's main cars, so Arya's got some stuff in the back. And um, I keep this sock with this strawberry shortcake little um, band-aid box from so long ago um, as like a bench in there. And it can also hold secret things, aka just these random things um, that Arya hoards in her car because it's weird. Um, she switches back and forth from three different cars, so I don't know. She doesn't really have a permanent car because she's always changing. Um, but yeah, so that's the bar. It's the Barbie Happy Family Volvo, which for whatever reason it won't focus on. There we go. So this car is also pretty dinged up, too. It's been um, everywhere. <laughs> the back little thingy opens the trunk also opens but there's a chair in here and I think it's from Loving Family if I'm not mistaken I don't know what does it say Mattel okay oh wait you know what this might be a Kelly chair I don't know I have no idea because this otherwise kind of falls down and drives me nuts so the chair's always kind of been something that 
kind of works. And then, a long, long time ago, whoops, lost the front chairs that came in this car. Because it basically, like, you could take them out and stuff, and I always used them as, like, kind of, like, chairs in, like, a dining room or something, because I never, ever had enough stuff, and I still don't. Which is nuts, because I have, like, a whole room full of stuff, but... I don't. So, um, while we made the back seat, I was like, well, why don't we make chairs for this? And so we took the Jenga blocks and I had wanted them to still be able to be like movable, like the old chairs. So, um, we did and, uh, they can still move and adjust depending on how tall or not tall the person is. So it's pretty cool. And I'm really proud of that, too. We, it's just, like, so amazing that we've got seats here now. Like, after all these years of not having seats. So, yeah. Um, I'm pretty proud. It's got Barbie in the front. <laughs> With a little teeny tiny Bobo icon on the grill. Which actually feels kind of funny. And it says Volvo and V70 T8 and Barbie. So, this is one of my most... Like, this is actually one of my favorite cars of all time, also. This is um, one of Allie's, like... You know, cars. Um, I don't know if you can read that. Yeah, there you go. It says Porsche. And this teeny tiny sticker on this gigantic front. And then it says Barbie. And there's one mirror. We're missing the other one. I don't know where it went. It just popped out one day. And most of the time when it popped out, I could find it. But this time, nope. Couldn't find it. Got this tan interior. A little steering wheel. It's got a trunk. Which kind of gives away what happens when you press this button. So yes, the top lifts up. Since it is in fact a convertible. On the back it says Barbie again. And it says Boxster on the red. On the bottom you can barely see that. Boxster. Got little lights. It's really cute. I love it. This is a very old car. Very rare. I got a really good deal on it. eBay, brand new in box for Christmas a few years back. So yeah, totally love it. I'm so happy I have it. And um, I think Allison is too. Right, yeah. so the next car is also extremely basic, but this is one of the first Barbie cars I've ever had. It is um the Barbie Corvette. And I think it's from like 2000 or something. I've had those for so long. It's got this front. It has a little Corvette symbol on the front. It says Barbie, of course. And um, it's got these molded little, like, lights. Like, they don't move or anything. I mean, lights and mirrors. It's actually got, like, these little, like, shelves in the dashboard. And, like, little details in there. Which I honestly didn't notice until now. Gauges and stuff. And the steering wheel broke off a long time ago, and I never found it, so. This just got a nub for a steering wheel. So it's just a turn left. Oh, wait, that's right. Whoops, my bad. Oh, they're going to crash. Um, little joystick. Really basic. There are places for this, you know, see belt that again aren't in there. And I did try to pull this out, and I did get it, but there's nothing in there except for a hole. So, you know, it's kind of nice. So, yeah, it's basically... Yeah, it's just the car. It's got little details on the inside. Like that. And it, it looks pink, but it's not. It's red. <laughs> it's just so sad. This Jeep. This is, I think at the moment, Jason's car. That's subject to change because they know what all is. Um, It's got this, you know, movable little thingy. It's got fake wipers on it. The seats are white. A pink steering wheel. Got some gauges and stuff in there. Got a little, you know, thingy. It's got a flat bed in the back. There's the little, you know, spare tire thing on the back. It says Jeep. It says little Barbie on the license plate. It actually kind of has, like, that fake little, like, door. It supposedly opens the back of this little trunk. The wheels look like that. And that's the bottom. And there is an antenna here because it was, at one point, remote control. The remote control is long gone. We don't use it that way. Got that door. It's Jeep. That door says Jeep. And it's got little, like, you know, steps on the side. Jeep up front. 
these used to light up actually with the remote, but obviously since we don't have that, do we have any other kind? It doesn't get a grill. So yeah, again, pretty basic car. Oh, when it moves, since it was remote control, it goes like this. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's that. Yep, it's the blue minivan, and this one, uh, blue microbus that I call a minivan because that's what it is. Um, this one does have both of its mirrors still. And that's what they look like. And um, it's basically the same as the other one. I lost the first car seat, but this is what the car seat looks like that comes with the car. Um, I also lost um, the little um, buckle that goes on either side of that and into the little hole here. So I use a little hair tie. And um, each seat has little notches in the seat for the car seat. It's got a notch here and a notch here, and so does the seat. So then you just put the car seat in the notch there, and in the notch there on the bottom, and it kind of just sits there. Although the kid is still prone to fall out, so I like to put um, a little, you know, elastic like that. And, um, you know, same thing. It's got the thingy there. It's got the, you know, GPS. But this one, the horn hawks. So, yeah. Um, same deal. It's just a tiny bit different in terms of color. And the horn's still honking. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's the blue part of that. show in the first video is um, my Bratz on the Mic tour bus. I've had this since it first came out in 2011 or whatever year it was. So here's what it looks like. You can kind of see inside. And um, this wheel, and this wheel actually open. This one's just kind of molded on there to look like it's a third wheel. And then you open the side up. And this side has a little bathroom. The toilet folds down. And it's got, you know, that toilet seat lifts up, that toilet seat lifts up, and all that. It's got a little fake toilet paper that can move around, but just barely, not really. And then this just kind of sits there. And then, when you turn it around, whoops, it's still open back there. You can kind of see Rosewood High back there. When you open this side, it's got a little kitchenette. It's got a little, you know, one of those modern sinks. It's got, you know, an oven. My, that won't shut right now because I'm being microwave that is being really you know bad it's kind of gonna break if I move it too much so yeah molded little you know cups and teapot and stuff little dials for the microwave molded cups again a little teeny tiny it has two burners stove with a little 830 clock and little dials and then this one has a little you know fridge on it so you open it up and you can put food in there and this one's got like just the same cabinetry design as the rest of them and these are all just you know molded drawers or design or whatever and this one opens up and um the set did come with some you know silverware and um little like pots and pans and stuff not all of it that came with the set is in there um also, there is the steering wheel that kind of looks more like a game joystick to me because it's gigantic. Um, and these are where the seat belts are. The seats are actually not in here. They are in um, Alice and Yara's kitchen over there. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the seats do come out. But what's really interesting is when you move this over and you open the, the back. <laughs> the back kind of turns into a little bit of a DJ station. The little, you know, turntables and all that stuff. There's actually a little plug to plug in um in here and this is an actual speaker. These I think are just, you know, fake. Um that's also kind of, you know, fake. It's just molded on there. But um it comes with this little cable to plug one end here and one end into your, you know, iPod or um, iPhone or iPad or whatever. And, um, yeah, I don't know if they stuck, so yeah. And then, after all that, inside, you can pull this up. And it has a little platform. This also holds your doll in place. 
and um, your doll can, you know, stand up here and sing the music that is playing from your iPhone or iPad. And they're DJing down here underneath, and it's a super cool little um, tour bus, and then it's like, you know, thank you, everybody, the, the thing goes down, and then that goes back, and um, it's a really cute set, and it's got little, like, fake speaker things there, and then that shuts like that. So yeah, it's a really, really nice set. Oh, and it also has this TV that obviously has brought the mic on it. You just stick the TV in any of these holes, and you can, you know, have them watch in Brad's on the mic. So yeah, it's really cute. Yeah, it's really nice. I really like this um, tour bus, and I also sometimes use it as a camper. So yeah, it's the. Uh oh. You have to fold it all up so that it fits. Um, but yeah, it's a really cute little bus. Next up, we've also got this Breath Movie um, tour bus, trailer, camper. I don't know. I guess not camper because they wouldn't go camping. But um, it's got, you know, the decals of all the, you know, Breath Girls and their pretty dresses on here. And um, all three wheels on this one move, so no fake outs, which is nice. The door itself does open, and you can kind of see that um, these chairs, they don't really have anything to hold them down, unlike the rats in the mic camper. But um, they've got this really awesome mod chairs. It's got, you know, the white cushion with the blackish purplish um, back with the hole in the middle, and it's got these awesome, you know, silver base, and it's really cool. It's kind of, you know sits there in like you know these seats like that and um it's really cool it's got like this purple window you know glass stuff because you obviously the superstars don't want to be seen when they're in their trailers because you know it's like paparazzi are going to take pictures and stuff you don't they don't want to be seen so yeah and then to open it all up you open the door you open, hang on, there we go, you open the back, you open the roof, that you have to specially sit in place, here, click, and you pull that out, and then you take that and you flip it, flip this over, pull the little steps out in their little array like that, and then you got your thing all opened up. And as you can see, you can move the chairs over for, like, use, you know, elsewhere in the, you know, little trailer. And, you know, you've got the steering wheel, the horn, you know, the gauges, and the clock, and more little, like, you know, nubs or whatever you can move. And then there's this thing, and you've got little, you know, storage and cup holders, and more storage and more cup holders, <laughs> and giant speakers on the top, and a bunch of buttons. And then you can see that it's got um, a little, you know, makeup center. And you got, you know, lots of space to put your makeup. You got a little closet to hold your stuff. You got that drawer for storage. Uh-oh. Come on. There you go. This drawer for storage. You've got more storage underneath in the little cabinets. Open that. And you got lots of storage down underneath here for all of your makeup and clothes and shoes and stuff. And then, you know, you've got the steps that you go up. And then you've got, like, um, a little swimming pool up here on the roof. And then you come back down and you got a little jacuzzi. You got, you know, little steps, a little bench for all the people to sit in. You've got a TV with all the brats, the movie characters on the little TV screen, which um, it does come off. Um, and it doesn't really go all the way up for whatever reason. I don't know. It's very strange. Um, but it's very nice. It's got, you know, the little dials and buttons on it instead of, like, a TV. And, um, it's got, like, an actual, like, thing down here and an actual little plug. So, it actually is supposed to have water put in it. I don't really know how it works. Because I got it at a yard sale for, like, ten bucks filled with rats. So, I don't know. 
Um, and then there's this little thing, and it's got like a Bratz Girl sticker on it. And we've got some shelves and a nice little mini fridge that opens up and you can fit any of their, you know, little snacks or drinks in here. Um, so it really is an awesome camper with lots, you know, I use it as a camper, honestly. Um, you know, with lots of storage to put stuff in and um, it's really cute. And I absolutely love the door. I don't know why. I just, <laughs> I love the door. It's so cute. It's just like, hey guys. Uh-oh, wait a minute, this isn't the right spot. Ah, a bear! Gotta go back in the camper. So, yeah, um, that's a lot of fun. It's so cute. Um, I just recently had the liars camping in it because they were trying to um, figure out what happened to Allison because Allison had gotten kidnapped. Yes! Um, it, it was a pretty awesome plot. Possibly. Yeah, it was pretty impressive. Um, and then you put it all back together. And, um, it's a pretty awesome camper. And the back has brats on it. Got, you know, little ventilators for the girls in there. And then a little, um, you know, little license plate. This is Bratz the movie with flowers. And you got, you know, lights on either side of the little bus. And then you go on this side and you got more of the girls. And then Bratz the movie, just like the other side. And then on the front, it's so gigantic, guys. It's, like, literally huge. And it's got this gigantic windshield. More, you know, lights here. It looked like it should light up, but I don't think it does. And then there's a red one. And then it's got the same on the side. And the grill. It's got a star. Lots of, you know, studding. Um, these things on top. Another little ventilator thing. It's so cool. It's such a great bus. Um, for instance, I'm really proud of Mrs. D's outfit, so I'm going to use her as a little bit of a model. Come here, Mrs. D. Oh my goodness, I get to show off my beautiful outfit. Yes, but you've got a fuzzy right here. Ah! Oh no! It's name Mrs. D. You can be our model, even though your hair's a mess. Um, so that's Mrs. D next to the camper, and I can't even get it in a full shot here. I'm backing up so we can try to get... That's Mrs. D, and that's the camper. And then I'm going to borrow Allison who's over here in the hospital with Mike and Ari and Jason. Jason's just like, oh, God, kill me. Um, and, and that's Lily in the carrier there. Allison's just like, oh, God, don't make me stand next to her because she sucks. I know, Allison, she's not very nice. But literally, it's huge, guys. Like, this doesn't even begin. That's my hand. Like, it's huge. It's gigantic. Um, like, they can actually... When you, like, open the door, you can actually kind of have, whoops, the seats kind of move around in there. You can actually have them go in there. She's like, she has to duck a little bit because she's wearing pumps, but she's like, hey, guys, going to camp. You can actually kind of stand up in there. So it's super cool. And Allison's just that. Well, I don't want to go camping. Okay, you can go back in with Mike in the hospital. She's just like, ow, I dripped. Poor Allison. She's she's having a rough day. Um, Anyway, so yeah, it's a gigantic camper, and it's super awesome, and I love it. And this took seven minutes. Like, holy crap. Last but certainly not least, this is my newest car, and I'm so in love with it. It is the new, well, my new. <laughs> it's not new at all. Um, the Ken Mini Cooper in white and black rather than red and black, and I'm so in love with it. In the front, it has a little Ken license plate, and, you know, it's got the grill, the really weird pattern. It's really cool looking, and it has another one right here, and on the front, it has a little tag that says Mini, and I'm probably going to do a little a more in-depth review of this um, separately. And then that's what, like, the headlights look like. They look pretty realistic, if you ask me. There's another light down there. And this one on that side. And on the windshield, there's an antenna for, like, Sirius Radio or whatever. Um, the rims are really cool looking. They kind of remind me of flower petals. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then that's what the back looks like. It's got another, you know, mini sticker. It's got a Ken license plate. It's his Cooper S. That's what the, you know, um, back lights look like. We've got more lights and grill and it also has these two little turbo things so i kind of say that it's like a twin turbo engine um and uh this is mike's new car by the way guys um mike is allison's husband for those of you who do not know and then just like little lights there and um it's a really awesome car i really love it um 
he got an upgrade because he needed the back seat for their new little girl. They have a little baby girl um, who they just had, but she's not nearby, so I won't show you her. And on the inside, there's a mirror, Obby, and there's a... Um, I can't really see that too well. I'll probably have to do another video with better lighting. Oh, here we go. Just put it on my lap. Got a little GPS thing going on here. Um, you know, little controls for radio and um, air conditioning and stuff like that. And it's got the steering wheel. It's this mini on it. You can just go turn it around and around. It's very, you know, classy. Got the little gauges. It's really cute. There's a little, you know, gear here. And also something that, um, you know, Mattel doesn't do nowadays with cars most of the time is the doors open. And it goes like that. And um, there are little, you know, mirrors on either side. So it's a super awesome car. I'm totally in love with it. And what's even more awesome is, um, well, that's kind of the roof. But um, story-wise, it's also kind of got like an actual type of thing. Um, uh, not a thing. <laughs> it's got an actual descriptive. Um, I was about to say thing again. <laughs> a descriptive term. Um. I don't know, it's got relevance to Allison and Mike's um, love story. Like, you know, black and white are kind of their colors. Um, their bedroom is kind of decorated with black and white, sparsely with a tiny bit of pink, because that's Allison. But, um, so um, he had his car in black and white, too. So that's really awesome. And uh, yeah, I gotta stop talking about Mike and Allison, or else I'll never stop.